If you want to get entered to win this Saline Mustang, go down in the description. There's also a bonus vehicle that's a mystery right now that you're entered to win automatically just by spending anything on InShaneDesigns.com. $5 spent is worth times 15 entries. Buy anything from the link, anything on screen shown, you're automatically entered to win. Get yourself a brand new car. All right. Here we go. Colorado. Got to leave the puppies here for 10 days. We're shipping the truck out. You can do a little bit of off-roading out there. First head to a place I lived for about a year, Albuquerque, New Mexico. The next day. Montrose, Colorado. Flew out here. And here are the trucks. About to go out to Ridgeway. I'm waiting on straight speed. There he is. There he is. Dude, how did our trucks get here? Oh my God. And they're beautiful. Holy hey, crap. They said everyone on their trip was taking pictures of your truck. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, definitely just mine. Well, that's what they said. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's so badass. Let's go. All right, boys. We got the father-in-law's Denali GMC CR Duramax here towing the fifth wheel right behind it. The ZR2 finally make it to Colorado. The Colorado in Colorado. Of course, you know I was gonna say it. Beautiful off-road trails back here. Gonna be taking it on these, testing it out. I don't know if it's gonna be anything like Roush. Uh, we're gonna see, test it out. Mike's got his TRX, and we're definitely gonna be putting this machine to the test. Just got her out of the shop, uh, because last video you guys probably saw uh, was the off-roading video at Roush. Everything's all tightened up, nothing broke, uh, but we definitely have some cosmetic wear all over the wheels. Uh, pretty much every wheel looks like that. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes whenever you go with off-roading. Um, you can't protect the wheels. Just Even if you're skilled, it's always going to be a problem. One thing though, that did happen during shipping, because we did have these trucks shipped out here, is uh, this lens. Th first off, the light was up. You can see the other one is facing forward normally. This one's facing up, and it has feathers on it. This lens is cracked. So I'm assuming... Okay, good. We can just turn this back. Uh, that this took out a poor little birdie on the trip down. There's no damage behind that, so I think we're good. This came in handy. I forget who made these. I feel so bad because it's like they hooked me up with this product and I can't remember who made them. So whoever it is, uh, I'll link them on Instagram because they make some sick covers for the ZR2. Uh, pretty much any pod light to protect your lenses and these came in handy for sure this time. I had the truck actually Mike to wash this up for me before we came down because it was filthy after Roush and it is annihilated with bugs on this probably 2,000 mile or 1,900 mile journey that it was on. But still happy to have the old girl in a whole other state across the country. Let's put the Rado to the test in Colorado. 17%. 4th of July fireworks in Ure. Is that where we're at? Are we in Ure, babe? Ure. Ure. Beautiful views. Firework time. Happy 4th, baby. Here we go. Out of focus. There's a sign way over there. It says it right there. It says Box Canyon. I love like the little things that they do here. There's so many drones and then just these huge mountain peaks. And I guess the fireworks are going to go right up there. It's awesome. Day two. Well, the mountain bikers go ham here. We are out in Telluride, the mountain village. Looks like the Tesla logo. About to get on the gondola and go into the town of Telluride. I think it's a town. But yeah, Mike and I were thinking about going on the uh, little mountain bike trails here. But we're a little scared of heights. Not too much. So we'll see how this goes. I don't think you get that high in the gondola. I've done some pretty terrifying things. Oh Lord. We'll be all right. Oh my God. Oh, wow, Gondola, Telluride Station, big oh, mountains. Man. We're about to go up high. This, this side's way like scarier. This one's, this is high. We're high up, dude. Yeah, 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 this is beautiful. But we're gonna be taking the trucks up there, I think, at some point. Oh yeah. Waterfall. Yeah. Town of Telluride. This is turning into like a family vlog, not a uh, automotive YouTube channel content. Whatever. You guys are stuck with it until you click off. Day three. Oh boy, it's the morning of the big. This is, big, this is big, dude. This is big, buddy. Big morning here. So I'm actually really nervous. Jeeps. So the problem is uh, everyone has told Mike and I that his truck is way too wide for this trail and he's going to die. And I'm not exaggerating. That has been said. I don't remember the dying part, but... I think, well, I think it's implied. <laughs> it's like a 700 foot drop. But we're out here in the beautiful valley of Telluride is right over there. I, I don't know what this valley is called. I'm assuming it has a really cool name. Uh, we got the Colorado with a filthy windshield just because of shipping it and everything like that. She's ready to go with almost a full tank of gas. I'm debating on to fill up or not because gas prices are 435 for regular. And if you want like the V power, it's almost $5. I don't know what V power is. I'm assuming it's the premium here at Shell gas stations. Not good. A little nervous, but we got our coffee and uh, mother-in-law just gave us these i don't know what they are it might be hot dogs 
Hey brother, just vlogging. Oh God, here we go on the switchback. This is an insanely tight trail already. I think this might be the toughest one of the day. I'm nervous, so I can't even imagine how nervous Mike is. He's pretty level-headed, but that truck is wide. Oh my goodness. Here we go up the mountain. I've done Roush and stuff like that, but this is very intense being out here in Colorado, in a Colorado, going off-roading. I mean, if you, like, just look at the Jeep up there. Mike is, this is a little tight here for him. Oh, Lord. It might not look much on camera, but he's about to hit the rock over here and only has about a foot of clearance on the right. The ledge picks up and then he gets a little bit more, but he, he is flexing and tucking those 37s. Oh, God. This is actually a little bit of legit off-roading here. That is very close. I don't see any paint though. It doesn't look like any Jeeps have scraped. There it is, show them the cliff. flying through here. I can't even imagine what it's like whenever the snow caps melt here and it's just like all that snow runoff. We got some of the party of Jeeps down there coming up. CR2 hanging in there though. This is a little rock. The TRX is holding up good. I got some good shots of you, dude. He, you're rubbing on the left a little bit, almost on the wall. And yeah. then the right, it's like, well, he doesn't have any clearance over there either. So Sorry. I don't know what to tell you, man. It was, I mean, wow, though. No. Look at the road. Dude, it's like a commercial. Like, this is something you'd see in like a Chrysler Jeep yeah. commercial. This is crazy. <laughs> we may need to air down, dude. I feel like that would help a lot. I, I would like to air down. I wouldn't bounce on that so much. We'll <laughs> see. pretty incredible though. I mean, I love being here. I ask, I ask I Tressa, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, how are we looking to the right? If we fell over, would we be all right? She's like, nope, death. It's death. So, a little bit of a rush. I love the uh, aspen trees. That's my uh, wife's favorite. So, I may have to steal one of those and stick it in the back and take it home. Let me know in the comments, would an aspen tree make it in Pennsylvania if we could replant it? So, look what we got in front of us here. A rock tunnel. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. Oh, man, I hope it translates onto camera because this is so exciting. So sick. This is the cool stuff you see on the trail, like just a piece of mining equipment in here. There might be a bear in here. There's some clothes, ratted up clothes. This is like a generator, it looks like. Huge diesel engine, just on the side of the mountain here. Mike going up the Jeep trail here, about to tackle it. This is what I'm talking about. I, I'm sure you guys are able to get the perspective, but like even if I jumped off this, it's death. I can't even imagine if the vehicle were to roll down. I'll show some footage right now about a trail near here where a Jeep went over. Pretty crazy. So we're gonna be heading up there where the Jeep is across these real narrow pass along the ridge and then eventually getting up to the top of the mountain. And then uh, I think we're gonna break for lunch. So, uh, Hopefully we make it till then. Like I'm uptight here. I, and we, see, we have plenty of room over here, but it's just like, it, it's the size of a, of a two lane road or one lane road rather. And it's just like, holy smokes. I've touched white lines. I've touched the yellow lines before on a road. And here, if you do that, you're kind of going over the edge. This is what I live for on like when going off roading. It's one thing to just have like cool stuff, but to have like the old mining carts here, just seeing like these are from, I'm pretty sure these mine shafts were shut down in the 1940s. So coming up on 90 years old, 80 years old rather that's pretty freaking crazy and they just they they're abandoned here and you got like a, a waterfall to the right like it's 
we're close to death here, but it's pretty exhilarating whenever you can see all this cool stuff. Colorado, definitely impressed with the state. It's lived up to the expectations. the other jeeps in our party we got one rubicon sahara and i think the other one's just a regular jeep wrangler you guys got the nicest jeep all right. you guys got a rubicon you got the locker you see that that's cool they have like badges on the side for like what oh, yeah. they've accomplished we should that get some marmot? of those no tries to said i missed it yeah it was a marmot i've never seen one apparently they're called marmots out here i've never seen one Dude, I got my golf clubs. I'm about to, I got my golf clubs. I'm about to, that'd be so funny for the video. I'm going to tee up and just drive one off. I'm going to do that. Whenever you see a good like meadow open, I'm going to do it. That's easily 30 feet of snow over there on a snow drift, maybe more. It is hard to breathe up here. I'm not kidding you. We're very close to 14,000 feet. Planes, commercial planes pressurized at 10,000 and it's desolate. There's not enough oxygen up here for trees to grow. Can you feel it's hard to breathe, Gina? My heart rate's insane. Like I'm like when I suck in, it's like, it's like, you can't get a full breath. It's crazy. Mike has to make a ridiculous 37 point turn here. <laughs> 13,114 feet. Desolate up here. You got a cool little mailbox over here. Dude, can you feel it in your chest a little bit? Like it's hard to breathe up here. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I scratched the crap out of my truck on the way up here. On what? A rock? Oh, good. They're gonna come out. Was it a rock you scratched it on? No, like bushes and stuff. It looks like they're gonna come out though. Thank God. I lost my rear camera. It got knocked out. Your camera got knocked out? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Someone's leaving a croc. Look at that. Bullet holes. People just shoot this thing. Uh-oh, Chevy. I'm gonna be uh, coming after you for that service call here. Warranty check. No rear-facing camera. to get a little bit more oxygen we're probably down about 2,000 feet um Marmot? a lot easier to breathe Marmot? yeah can you see one do you see a marmot they're they're essentially freaking uh groundhogs but they're like red mountain groundhogs marmots up here with the bulldozer in the truck their tails are awesome i guess that is what we saw up there it looks like a fox from far yeah, some away of them have such big tails. i don't know I, I think what we saw was like a weasel <laughs> saw a bunch of weasels running it's around so cute. what is he doing oh i'm not doing it what is he he's a psycho i bent my drive shaft at roush destroyed the steering we're twelve thousand feet in the air and he purchased the trx one of the biggest 1500 trucks on a rock over here I'll, tell, I'll show you the sketchiest part is whenever I'm coming along the side or after ground guiding them there's this little crack here that's death that's easily look at this oh my god this is so sketch that's a what a thousand foot drop there's no perspective on GoPros this is so and I'm, I'm in I'm in like skating shoes Dude, this is what you would track with the drive off of Bobby oh Go my god oh yeah we gotta do that just beautiful landscapes, and then the floating T-Rex. Oh my. Gorgeous. This is sick, little waterfall over here. sick 
life. This is something you only see in movies. I keep saying that, but it's surreal here. So I'm assuming this is the aftermath of a landslide. Pretty crazy. These trees have been dead for a while. Looks like nothing's green on them, so they probably just left them here. But yeah, like my wife just said, it's like a disaster zone. Damn, this is one of the last trails. I didn't film anything. What, what is that? A Jeep rolled off of this. How, old, how long do you think that happened? Not long. You wanna go down and look at it? Yeah. This happened a couple days ago. We had to drive around. Um, two people on board. They said one didn't make it. But that's all the information we got from some locals here. What is that? An XJ. Sorry, we just climbed like a quarter mile. Had to have been passenger that didn't make it. No blood. Dear God. Yeah. Mosquitoes are insane. So they tried to, re I don't know if they tried to recover it. Anyway, that's the risk you take when you're out here off-roading. That's sad, crazy. Up. I mean, it's humbling, I'll tell you that. It's definitely humbling. Because we've done a lot of off-roading this week. Uh, and it's just like, it's so much fun, so innocent. And then to see that, it's like, man, someone's vacation. They may have been experienced. I didn't see if it had plates on it or not still. And then uh, to have one person die, it's crazy. Uh, so anyway, let's head back to camp. So that is our Colorado trip. I appreciate you guys being patient with me uh, because this obviously was a, or unorthodox video it's a family vacation with the in-laws um, we're out here in ridgeway park i can't remember if i even said this because this video is over five days in the making six days in the making actually over 10 days in the making because i forgot i filmed uh prior to leaving so um they have this cool montana camper here they bought it brand new about 15 years ago kept it in good shape um we were staying in telluride so was awesome hanging out with family. Uh, it was cool shipping out the ZR2 Colorado, which did incredible on the, the ridges and everything. We were on mountains that were way higher than this. Obviously, you guys saw a video of the peaks. You can actually see them way out there if the GoPro can show them. Um, but it was just an incredible week. We'll definitely be out here again to hit some more difficult trails because Roush actually was a little bit more difficult than what we had to deal with today. Um, I'll tell you one thing, though. Being that high up, I don't know if I mentioned this either, crazy how out of breath you get before i didn't think so but once you get after like uh 12 13 000 feet 14 000 feet you honestly it's like i was like man I'm, I'm having a tough time breathing you can feel it because you're just sitting you're not doing anything uh inside the truck and for whatever reason uh it feels like you just ran a marathon it was it was just really weird so cool feeling great experience love colorado um just really cool we were able to get this zr2 out here it's actually crazy because um i've seen a couple colorados while i'm out here maybe 15 I'd say 14 of them were ZR2s, and four of those were uh, the Bison AEVs. So really cool. Gonna have to get this thing cleaned up, headed home. So I'll see you guys in the future whenever I'm back home, unpacked, and hopefully I have the old girl all cleaned up, all the bug gets off this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Say Rado in the comments for the amazing scenery out here if you're still watching this video. Likes are always appreciated. The Saline Mustang giveaway is still going on at InChainDesigns.com. Uh, so make sure you hit that up in the description. They're doing times 15 entries right now. So I would get on that. It's probably my most favorite Mustang by far because the color is almost like this, but not quite as highlightery. So make sure you get on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back to Colorado soon.